Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Kiss Product Wednesday. Let's review their acrylic um, sculpture kit. So I picked this up at my, you get a brush, a little tiny brush. Um, I did pick this up at my local family dollar. You could get it at Dollar General, Walmart, CVS, any stores like that. Um, this at my store was like eight bucks. So you get the clear acrylic powder. It's a very, very nice formula, very easy to work with, and it says it's bubble free. It definitely is. Then we have a glue, the acrylic liquid or monomer. Um, this stuff's pretty, pretty strong smelling. Then you get two types of tips. You get natural and French. So that's really nice. You can do so many sets with this. Then you get the file and buffer. A cuticle stick. And the instructions. So let's get into the set. So here I am just going to size my tips out, making sure that they fit sidewall to sidewall. Um, I am going to use the natural ones. These are a little different. They cover a lot of the nail. And they were pretty curved. They had a, had a bit of a curve to them. Now, you are going to want to do a proper prep of your nail. You're going to want to lightly buff it. Um, push back your cuticles. Um, you are going to want to use a nail primer. The larger kits come with that. If you wanted to get the larger kit. Um, but I'm just going to put on a regular gel top coat. Um so that I can take them off when I'm done filming. So here I am about to glue them on. Just a little bit of glue, you don't need too much. This was so hard for me to do because I am not left-handed at all. Not at all. Can't do anything with my left hand. So this, doing this, and building a nail and working with acrylic was so hard. It was so hard. But this was such a, a great kit. I really, really enjoyed it. And the fact that you can make so many sets with it just makes it even better. Okay, so now I'm going to clip them down short. We're going to do a set of shorties today. Um, so I'm going to cut these short and then I'm going to straighten out and file out the edge. And then I'm going to take in the sides just a little bit and get rid of that curve underneath. I don't know why I was struggling so hard with those clippers. They didn't want to cut anything. So I'm going to show a little bit of that process on camera.
I also did buff the shine off the top of the tips. So I did not use the Kiss Monomer because the smell gives me migraines and I just don't like it the way it smells up the house, especially with my toddler. Um, so here I'm going in with that primer. Um, I usually take it down the whole nail. You really only need to put it on your natural nail. Um, but the monomer that I'm using is the Sheba Nails Odorless Monomer. It has absolutely no smell to it. Um, you do, if you use it, you need a new brush and new dappen dish specifically for that or it will yellow very badly. Um, it does yellow just a tiny bit, but I like to use it because I usually always paint over the acrylic anyway. So here I am, I'm going in with that, dipping my brush in the monomer. Um, I like to try and work with a drier bead. This monomer I'm using specifically, um, it's very, very long dry time. So after I applied the acrylic, I had to wait off camera for everything to dry. And then I filed and shaped them up. Um, this monomer leaves a sticky tacky layer that needs to be filed off. Isopropyl alcohol does not work to take off the tacky layer like it would with like poly gel or gel polish. Um, but if you don't mind like a tiny, tiny bit of yellowing with your like monomer acrylic or whatever, um, I highly recommend this one. Um, at first I didn't like it, but then I kind of grew to like it. Now I wouldn't use this monomer if you were going to use clear to encapsulate something because it won't be clear enough, um, I would suggest using a regular monomer if you want to clear cap something like glitter or sequins or something like that. So here, when you take the brush, you definitely, you want to just bounce the brush in the acrylic. You don't want to drag it. You don't want to dip it in. You just want to bounce it very nicely. Um, I found that out watching like Young Nails YouTube videos on repeat. That's how I learned to like lay my acrylic and work with my acrylic. So go check them out if you haven't. They've got some really great tips. So I put that right, the first bead right at the line of the tip and worked it down. And now I'm going closer to the cuticle, um, trying not to flood the cuticle. And like I said, this was so hard for me. You can tell I'm not even holding the brush right because I, I don't know how to do anything with my left hand. It's, <laughs> it's really difficult. But the good thing with acrylic is you can put it on there as messy as you want and you can always file it to fix it. That is the wonderful thing about acrylic. You can always file it down to fix it. And with acrylic, you don't really need a super thick nail for it to be strong. You just need the proper shape of the nail. You need a nice little apex. If it's a shorter nail like this, you don't need a huge high apex. You just need just enough to make that nail sturdy and it doesn't have to be like a crazy thick nail. So I'm going to let this play out and I'll hop back in if I need to.
So here I am, I'm finishing up laying the acrylic. Then I'm gonna go off camera, we'll wait till they're dry because it takes a while for this um, monomer to dry. And I'm gonna do the filing and shaping off camera um, because I wanna use my nail drill to do that. It just makes it faster and easier for me. And then I will come right on back. I do want to thank my new and returning subscribers for watching my videos and supporting me. Thank you so, so much. And if you made it this far into video, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, so I'm going to finish this up and then I will be right back and we will paint them. Okay, so here they are filed and cleaned up. Um, they did, you can see that they yellowed a bit. Um, so here I'm gonna be using the Awesome Color All Nighter Gel Polish Set. I will leave that link down below. Um, this is one of McCart's brands and I absolutely love these gel polishes. Uh, they have so many different sets. They're super affordable. They're usually on sale. Uh, this one's on sale for $14.99 right now. Um, so I will definitely leave it linked down below. If you can do your nails at home, definitely invest in like some gel polishes and just a small little um, lamp to cure the gel polish with because it's totally worth it. Um, so I'm basic coating them and then I'm going to cure that and then I'm going to go in with the color. But... I did pick up a, while I was strolling through the Dollar Tree, I found a um, gel nail lamp. Now, I'm going to have to update in the description whether this works or not because it takes batteries and I didn't have any AAA batteries in the house. So I will definitely update in the description before I upload this. Um, but... I'll see if it works. So here I've cured the base coat. Now I'm going in with this light. I guess it's like a shimmery purple lilac, almost a sheer color. Now I'm not sure, looking at it now, if it was the monomer that yellowed or if it was the natural tips that had that yellow tint to it. Um, I'll have to update that on t that on that too. Um, I'll use some clear tips and see how much it yellows. But I think I did three coats on each. And I alternated the colors, the that sheer shimmery purple and this gorgeous glittery blue oh my goodness this was so pretty so yeah i did three coats and then um a top coat and i did because you know i can't have just regular painted nails I want to be a little extra so i'm going to use the mccart rhinestone glue to adhere a charm that i picked out last minute so i'm gonna let this play out and then i'll hop back in if i need to
So here's the charm I'm using, the little tiny bow charm. I got that off of Shein for like, I think a dollar and some change for a, like a 10 pack. Um, Shein has the best, cheapest nail art that you can find. So totally worth ordering some from them. So I use the McCart rhinestone glue. I'll see if I can leave that link down below. And now I'm just going in with the top coat to finish off these nails. And then we will come back to put on cuticle oil and give final thoughts. All finished up this is my favorite cuticle oil you can probably get cuticle oil at the dollar tree for a dollar um but the acrylic kit was so nice to work with i absolutely love how this set turned out i'll leave um just about everything i use linked down below if i can um ah, they just turned out so cute definitely giving me little spring vibes um let me know your thoughts and if you liked these um if you watched the whole video all the way through thank you so so much don't forget to like comment subscribe and ring that bell to get notified anytime i upload and i will see you guys in the next one